I've got this belief that no matter what you're doing in life, there's no rules. You can do anything that you can dream up. I'm Tara Stiles and I'm a yoga guide. <laughs> I definitely didn't plan to do yoga as a job, as a career. I, I was always doing it, and um, out of high school I got picked up to do some modeling. I was so naive at the time, I didn't know what that meant. I thought the people in the magazines just happened to be walking by while somebody was taking a picture, and I had no idea that I was qualified to do that job, but I knew modeling wasn't like my calling. It was really fun, and it was buying me some time to figure out what I wanted to do. And then YouTube happened and I was like, well, I'm goofy and, uh, you know, I want to connect with people in, in a way that's easy. So I started making videos for my friends and family. You know, yoga you can do on the couch, yoga you can do if you had a heavy meal at Thanksgiving. So all of these barriers of entries, I was just taking them down and saying, no, yoga's for you, yoga's for you, yoga's inside you, you are yoga, it's easy. Anybody can do it, you know, if you can breathe, you can do yoga. So I started leading free yoga classes in Central Park and I made this sign, <laughs> I sewed it, it was bright orange and it said free yoga with Tara Styles, and I stuck it into the ground. I did classes there and it was really fun. So I said, okay, maybe I can um, do this in a small studio. I decided to start charging. We went down to two people. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay if one person showed up. If nobody showed up, maybe you just didn't put the address right somewhere. Maybe the front door is locked. That's happened to me before. The front door has been locked. <laughs> I thought people weren't coming. They were all standing outside. <laughs> and now I have this big company. I wasn't trying to be so different than anything else. I was more sharing what was authentic and what was real to me. I thought it was interesting to teach yoga in English, to play modern music, and to give people permission to do yoga in this sort of easygoing, simple way. And uh, New York Times did a article called Rebel Yoga, and it was pretty controversial, and uh, you know, a lot of people were quick to judge. Why is she rebelling? What is she rebelling against? And it's not so much I was making my own rules and rebelling against yoga. I was always sharing what's authentic to me, and I think um, in that sense, every yoga teacher is a rebel. You know, if you think about all the people that you admire, you know, since you were a little kid, whether they're your family members or heroes or, you know, Superman, Wonder Woman, the through line is they're living their own life, they're blazing their own trails, and they're not apologizing for it. They're saying, you know, this is, this is what my experience is, and, and I'm moving toward that, and I think that's really important to remind people of.